Howdy, how's it going? It's Nate, hope you guys are doing great. Um, so tonight, by popular request on Instagram, we're gonna do this kind of vlog style behind the scenes just to show you guys what we have going on. So tomorrow, I'm going down with Task Force 6 to Columbia, South Carolina, to the Fire Academy. They're doing collapse training for the rescue team. So they're gonna be doing a bunch of really unique technical rescue skills to train in case there was a tornado that came through a town and they had to um, just navigate collapse and what that would look like. So from what I understand, there's a lot of concrete tomorrow and it's gonna be a lot of hard work for dudes uh, for the next three days. I'm not a rescue guy, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what all they have going on. And I'm looking forward to using this new DJI action camera to kind of get some behind the scenes, maybe some time lapses and just kind of show what it looks like from the photographer's angle as far as like capturing these dudes working. Alrighty, so what we got here, I've got my mystery ranch bag. So I sold my wandered PRVK e-bag and I got this mystery ranch urban assault. Um, I wanna say it's a 24, but I really like it. And what I'll do is I run the wandered camera cube in it. And this is kind of like my just really quick um, bring to shoot, spring to the range bag. And I really, really like it. And it holds everything I need it to um, so it can hold a couple lenses, some batteries, put a drone here, um, a drone controller, and I can run my photography camera here in the bag, and then I can hold my, my A7S III. So then I've got the Wandered Hexed Access Duffel, so that will be for, um, for clothing and stuff. I'll probably bring this tripod here, just have a fluid head and something I can, you know, set a camera on. And then this is kind of the biggest dilemma. Um, so typically for for bigger shoots and such, I usually bring, this is like my camera Pelican, this is my drone Pelican, and then those two Pelicans, um, they're actually not Pelicans, they're seahorse cases. Those are for lighting. <laughs> get um, a Chick-fil-A biscuit for lunch but traffic's literally wrapped around the building twice that's crazy and it's it's uh it's 10 37 in the morning all right we arrived at the uh, white W hey guys this is living no line nobody inside Wendy's. It is 67 degrees out. This hoodie's gonna come off. Let's be out in the sun, but we're just sitting in the shade, chilling. This is living. You guys can have that Chick fil A life. I will be here at Wendy's. This is the way. This is the way. Fries and a frosty. We made it. And everybody's unpacking everything. So we're gonna get our bag and go for our clues and the bunk bed. And everybody's bunking together. And then, probably about an hour, I'm gonna go get on the pile and do some start doing some work. Basically, they're just over there crushing it, doing stuff. Um, they're lifting a bunch of concrete. Uh, they got a logistics truck set up, so they're bringing gear from logistics over to the piles. Um, as you can see, there's a couple cranes. They got a whole bunch of heavy equipment over there. Um, right behind me, that there, doing the good work. But we're gonna get some water real quick, kind of stay hydrated. I think this thing is supposed to go till, uh, till midnight, is what I was just told. So we could potentially be out here getting some night shots, so that'd be kind of cool.
good night's rest. Now we get to do it again. So we gotta fix the camera issues that occurred last night. I say I feel like Bob the Builder with this helmet on. And I feel like I did a terrible job trying to get behind the scenes yesterday, but we're gonna do better today, okay? Okay. Concrete off. Now they're putting it back for the next group, but we've got this big wrecker. It's taking all the concrete out. They just anchor it and spread it and do everything to get out. That is a wrap. We are done with that shoot, headed home back to old Greenville. But it was a really good time. I hope you guys enjoy the footage. I'm sorry I wasn't able to vlog a little more. Um, it's just kind of hard when you. <laughs> When you are trying to take pictures, trying to take video, trying to take behind the scenes stuff. And then trying to help out too, you know, like if, if somebody needs a hand, like helping clean the, the dorm or or uh, getting tools or, you know, just trying to help out where I can. It's it's a hard and interesting thing to be a firefighter and then also be, have friends that are there who are firefighters and be doing photos because like you have this divided attention because one, you're trying not to be a dirtbag and trying to help out where you can um, because it's your friends and coworkers. And then two, you're also trying to get content because that's the main reason you're there, but I don't know. It's just hard to do both, but it's very fulfilling to do both and it's what I enjoy. And I'm sorry, it's really dark. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that was an awesome shoot and I learned a lot about what Task Force is able to accomplish and it was pretty cool just to get to see them working and see the problem solving abilities of the guys um, but thank you to task force six for having me out and i'm gonna go home and call right, basically like 2,000 shots and i think 200 video clips so plus the vlog so this vlog probably won't be posted for a little bit but it was a really great experience and obviously be posting photos on instagram facebook and all the socials but if you enjoyed this i shall do more of them and next weekend I'll hopefully be on a boat with some seals, so that would be a good time too. But thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Peace.